Hi everyone, welcome to Part of My French. Today I will create a party look for you. Um, as you can see, I already have makeup on. It's very light though, it was more for uh, daytime. So now I will do something a, a lot more intense. So I'm gonna refresh my makeup and I'm gonna start with using uh, a lavender water spray. Just so my skin is kinda like refresher not refresher <laughs> my skin is fresher and the makeup won't just cake and like feel heavy on my skin so for my skin I'm using a BB cream um, people know it I like it uh, because it's light on my skin doesn't feel heavy or cakey I'm just gonna go where I feel like it needs to be touched up and I'm going with a sponge and I'm just going like this. So I don't go everywhere because it doesn't need to. Maybe my nose. I like how the sponge works. Sometimes people like, um, these better, these brushes, um, but I feel like this gives a more natural look. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. And on my best friends, I now start to like them since I have no choice. My zits, that's a clean base so we can start working again so for my um, for my skin I like to be bronzy and golden when I go out and have drinks with friends so I would go with this uh, pal oops I just broke it damn it oh no it's not broken it's back on um, this for my cheeks it's a uh, bronze glow and this one is a uh, desert browns. So for this one, I'm just gonna use it a tiny bit, just to kind of create uh, a shadow here. <laughs> My brush is pretty big. You could go with something um, smaller. But I'm kind of used to work with this, so it doesn't matter to me. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. Like this, so I do my forehead close to where your hairline is. And obviously under your chin. There you go. So that's it for the bronzer. Don't overuse it because people will see it and it looks not so natural. I'm going to do a cream blush first. go just where the cheek is to give that healthy so I could bring it further on my cheek but I kind of like putting it there because you look younger and fresher you can use your finger as well there you go Instantly, it looks like you just played outside for two hours. Like this. All right. Then you can use a little bit, and you can, since there's different shades, you can try and go for one color or just mix them all and go here. And it'll give like a cute shimmer but I will use something a little more intense after I'm done doing the full look. For the eyes, I'm gonna go with this palette. Uh, her name is, um, okay, not just nudes, and they're cream. So you have to work them a little more so it doesn't do like a, like a line 
on your eyes. But I like the effect that they can uh, create. So I'm gonna start with this color that I'm gonna apply everywhere. So that's gonna be my base. I kinda wanna do like a JLo glowy, um, glowy look. So everywhere. So it's shiny, but it's not shimmery, and there's no little flakes either. That's why I like these uh, cream eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna go with the um, second darker, which is almost like a mocha color. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna build from there. So I go in and I bring it all the way to where my eyebrow starts here. Right. So I could stay like that, not. Um, that's when you have to work the shadow and make sure it all blends in. The kind of signature look of this is under the eye, so I will mix those two and go under and really smudge it. And then with your fingertips, you use the cream color and that's where you're going to do your highlights. So under your eyebrows and bring it under here as well. Here. Here. I'm gonna add some liner as well. I want it even lower. It's gonna make you look more dramatic. This. And I'm going with a brown liquid liner just at the base of my eyelashes. It's a little intense, but since you're going out, you can. You're allowed to. And then you're going to add some mascara which is here. And don't be scared. You just don't want it to be um, like all stuck together. And then the final touch, this. Always brush your eyebrows. Can readjust too. Then the fun part, the shimmer. Okay. So you want to glow in the dark. So I'll go with the pink, uh, pink light, uh, the photo ready skin light that I apply with a sponge, just on the bone here on the cheek. Same on the other side. And I'll do in between my eyes, on my nose, and on my chin. And finally, lipstick. I'm going with a deep raspberry color. Um, sometimes I will use a pen 
as well. But the brush of this one works so well and it's so precise that I don't really need it. Ready to go for drinks with my friends. What do you think? Now that you've seen the before and after, you can tell that the change is pretty drastic. Now it's time for the French lesson of the day. And you know when you go to the bar with all your girlfriends and there's this prick sitting at the bar trying to get you drinks and you're not interested? Um, well, you could tell him... <laughs> this is not so sweet. Dégage la tâche à marde. Um, <laughs> say, okay, enough shit stain. I'm sorry. Uh, I know, it's, it's kind of rude, but sometimes you have to. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, to like the videos, to share them with your friends, and to comment. Um, I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Can you hear my maid? Can you hear someone f***ing? Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay, here you go. And then you add the browns color. And that's when you can start having fun. I don't know if you can hear that. It's so disturbing. <laughs>